Hello again, it's Kurt here from City Campus, and we're continuing our study on the purpose of the Proverbs this week. And uh, we're going to continue on with our uh, with this as we uh, <coughs> continue to look at why the Proverbs exist and how we are to use them as people. Now, we're going to start to hear a little bit about a father type figure. And we'll see this as be a theme of the Proverbs as we hear a father like figure speaking through much of it. But this is a little bit more about Proverbs and just what Proverbs are about. My child, listen, this is eight, nine. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instructions. So he's got both of them. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of honor around your neck. And I was kind of looking around. This kind of sounds like Exodus 20, 12, which is honor your father and mother. Then you'll live a long, full life in the land your God, your Lord, your God has given you. But it isn't the same. What Solomon's kind of telling you is at any age, I don't care what age you are, you can gain knowledge from those people that are around you that have experience. And those people might be older, younger, you know, I mean, it's fathers and mothers are kind of these experienced people, these, these people of experience. It might be your father, it might be your mother, it might be surrogates for them. Um, you know, Jane Hall was a great mother figure for me uh, that I knew long after my mother passed away. Um, you know, I've had other mother and father figures. Bill, for example, has also been a father figure to me. Um, Rich Winson, uh, you know, um, Carl Summers, all father figures to me. Even, you know, some, some of the ministers and stuff that I've, that I've worked with, um, George Trueblood great father figure to me. Now, Paul tells us about this whole process in Ephesians 6, 2, and 3. It says, honor your father and mother. It's the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well with you and you'll have a long life on the earth. And that's a big part of the purpose of Proverbs, gaining insight from those who have wisdom and if you do gain insight from those who have wisdom, well, you've probably got a better chance of having a long life on the earth. We're using Proverbs 133 as our kind of base uh, verse this week. All who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. And again, as we mentioned, it doesn't mean you're not going to have fear or harm. It just means you're not troubled by it. And uh, that's a different process. Parents are not always perfect, you know, and I think the Bible recognizes that too. It mentions several terrible parents. Lot's a good example. Um, even people who we think of as being positive, like Eli or Samuel, became relatively bad parents. Even um, even uh, Aaron had some issues. So. Uh, but there's other fathers and mothers acting as figures towards kids. So I think they're worth looking at. So find those experienced people around you that can give you insight. And of course, you can read the, read the Proverbs. They'll give you plenty of that too. Let's pray. Father God, we love you. We're thankful for the Proverbs. We're thankful for those wisdom, wise people around us. And I pray that they will continue to give us insight. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing day. And uh, we'll talk to you on Thursday. See you later. Bye.